Welcome to the Jill on Money Show. It's Thursday, January 26th, and this is the program that takes the mystery out of your financial life. If you have a financial question, then we encourage you to go to our website, jillonmoney.com. While you're on the website, you can, of course, hit that contact us button Ask whatever questions on your mind. And if you would like to join us live, click the box at the end and you will be able to join us. Mark does all the work. It's so great. So as you know, we've been talking about the book so much. It has finally launched and very excited about that. I'm so grateful for everyone who pre-ordered the book and who continues to buy the book. Now, if you haven't done so, you can also do that right on the website. And maybe this segment that I did yesterday on CBS Mornings will maybe encourage you, induce you, tempt you, lure you into the great money reset world. I sat down with Nate Burleson, Tony DeCopel, and Jerika Duncan, who was sitting in for Gail King. And it was just a really cool interview. It's very strange, by the way, to be on that set and talk about my own book when usually I come on the set to talk about what's going on in the economy or something that's going on for personal finances. But it was all about me. And it's always a little disconcerting for me in that moment. But heck, I did it. And I thought it was a great segment. So here is my appearance on CBS Mornings yesterday morning. Have you thought about switching your career, moving to another city or making another big change in your life? Maybe you're thinking about it right now. Well, CBS News business analyst Joe Schlesinger has a new book that gives financial advice to help you make your goals a reality. The book is called The Great Money Reset. Change your work, change your wealth, change your life. And Jill joins us right now. Jill, good morning. Good morning. What I love about this book, and I like a lot about this book, is that you tell people right here in the front, if you're daunted by the path ahead, I have a message for you. You can do it. Mm. Yeah, and you can. And the whole reason that I provided this book as a guideline was that I was receiving tons of questions on my podcast and my radio show from folks during COVID. And it was really fascinating because people ask me financial questions all the time, but the nature of the questions really changed amid the pandemic. Is this really how I want to live? And I would answer these questions every day, seven days a week. And I realized people People do need a guideline, a framework, and the actual steps necessary to move forward. You don't want people living with regrets, to look back and say, I should have, I could have. Mm. And I think what's really important is that most people have some dream, and it doesn't have to be, I'm going to hit the lottery. It may be a dream of a slight change. Buy a home. Buy a home. It could be move to a different city. It could be shift my career trajectory. And what I really want to point out to most people is that it's not an all or nothing game here. There are incremental steps that you can take, but you do have to run the numbers. You know, Tony mentioned a powerful word, regret. And my favorite chapter, seven, start, sell, or evolve a business. And you kick it off by talking about a woman who had a great idea. And I think we all can identify with this. There's some thoughts that pop into our head and we say, oh, this is a money maker. Yes. I should absolutely. really do it. You might even have a family member or a friend that is encouraging you. But because life becomes life, you get yep. too busy, you don't do it. And then what happens? You look up, somebody else is making millions, sometimes billions off of this idea. Yeah. Why is it so powerful for people to have faith in themselves and just do it? Well, I think what's powerful is that you have an idea, but we have to execute the idea. So what we need to really do is say to people, that idea is an amazing idea, but you're not going to throw away your entire life to do that. So what should you do? Well, what we learned a lot in the pandemic is that a lot of people had hobbies and they turned them into side hustles. I think that's a great pathway. So hobby to side hustle. Side hustle lets you take a small incremental step forward. It helps you test your concept. It allows you to sort of bring some more numbers to bear. Could I actually give up the the kind of my safety net job right now and move to this full time. And again, you need the framework. You have to know, what am I giving up? I've got my benefits. I've got my pay. I've got all the coverage that I want in the world. And I have to do this carefully. And on the other side, it's also really important if you have a business, life changes, conditions change, you can shift gears and it's okay to sell and not maximize every dollar. Maybe you need to sell right. because it's time to move on. So what, ab- good. what about this idea of additional education and th- people thinking, oh, the more degrees or the more training means a bigger paycheck. How realistic is that? What do you recommend, especially knowing 
how many millions of Americans that are in financial debt because they're still paying off school loans. You know, I always wonder, education, I say, well, you know, it could be worth it, but maybe it's not. And there are three very specific questions to ask yourself. Whether you're going back to school to finish your degree, mm -hmm. to get another degree, Number question number one, mm -hmm. what skill am I trying to actually acquire? What is going to enhance my current trajectory? Number two, how am I going to pay for it? You mentioned school loans. Maybe you have to dip into your own savings. That may not be the best idea. Maybe you have to ask a family member. Sometimes I've heard that comes with some strings attached. So <laughs> maybe not the best idea there. Is the third question is, is there a cheaper alternative? I have found this fascinating coming out of COVID certificate programs, degree programs, mm -hmm. companies paying for yep. people. These are the things you should be exploring. More education doesn't necessarily mean more money. It can, but I'd love people to ask these questions. Jill, let's let's begin at the beginning though. Five steps for people who want to think about a reset right now. What these are, are good. they? So the first thing is you must take stock of where you are. And so I call this all right, it's kitschy. The fabulous five. Okay, okay. 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 fabulous five. All right. So number five. one is what? Are, what resources do I yeah. have? What assets do I have? What? What's my income? Uh, what are the things I'm getting from my employer in the form of benefits? Number one. Number two, liabilities. What do I owe? How much money outstanding on the credit card, the auto loan, the student loans? Mm -hmm. What's my housing situation? Am I a happy renter? Is everyone pushing me to actually buy a house, but I really don't want to buy a house? Mm. Really important there, right? Yeah. What are the obligations that you have made to other people, mm. which is also very important? These questions, along with the most important one, how much am I spending right now? Mm -hmm. I cannot emphasize this enough, whether you have one dollar or a million dollars. If you don't understand how much you are spending, it is really hard yeah. to reset and take a different path forward. Joe, did you write this book so Katie and I stop calling you with money questions? <laughs> no, I did not. I, I fully encourage you to do so. And I encourage everyone to yeah. ask themselves these questions. Again, this is a positive message for me. I know sometimes I come on and say, don't do this or do this. Yeah. This is a message of like, you know what? You can do this, but you have to be careful. And we have to give you the guidelines, the framework yep. to really make this happen. This helps navigate through the unpredictability yeah. of your finances, I'm yeah. telling you. So if you haven't already bought The Great Money Reset, maybe that interview pushed you over the edge. And if you have more questions about the book or how to reset your life, you know you can always find us online, jillonmoney.com. That is where all of our content lives. And I'm always very, very grateful that you guys listen each day. It means the world to us. So as we go out today, just remember, change your work, change your wealth, change your life. Thanks for listening. We'll talk to you tomorrow. 